Hey guys, it's Liz here with another video for you. And today I'm gonna be doing a video review and unboxing of this Gershon Dip Powder Nail Starter Kit. Now, um, this brand I've never heard of, but it was deeply discounted when I purchased this. Um, it was $25.99 plus uh, there was a $10 coupon on it. So I got it for $15.99 and that deal should be available when I post this. So I'm trying to get it out really quickly. It came, comes with four um, one ounce or a little one, over one ounce powders. And I really liked these colors. I thought that they went well together. Um, and you know, they're really big powders. I mean, and the powders alone for that price was good. Um, so I thought it was a good deal, even without all of the liquids. If the liquids were crap, I, you know, <laughs> it really didn't bother me. Uh, but it did come with this five uh, five liquid set, um, which was a primer. The primer looked more like, like a dehydrator, um, more than a primer. But then it did come with a base coat, activator, and top coat, and a, a brush saver for this kit. Uh, my kit was a little damaged in shipping, but everything looked like it was fine. And I almost missed the, all the rest of this stuff. I forgot that it come, came with all this. It does come with a cuticle revitalizer oil, um, which I looked up the ingredients in all of this and nothing looked like it was harmful for you. Um, I mean, there were some things that may have been unnecessary for cuticle oil, um, but some of these actually looked like they would be good for um, preventing fungus or um, infection or anything like that, help with um, irritation. So I'm really excited to try this out and see how well it works. So, I mean, it does smell really good. It's got the rose hip in it and it does smell like roses. It also came with these builder little foils, the foil stickers what um for building your nail um that a file which the file actually worked really well too um the little orange pusher and this is just their information where you can look them up if you want to and they do have the directions for it and i didn't see any of the directions and see um they have the little foils because you can use this as an acrylic liquid and build your nail with it i'm not too familiar with that and i don't have acrylic liquids um, but just so you know, you can use that um, as an option. But the directions don't look any different really, um, other than they don't suggest putting activator on again after you file and buff. Uh, but I do suggest that you put activator on again after you file and buff. Um, and I actually found in that after um, doing my swatches, and you'll see all this if you watch all of the video, um, but I just wanted to let you know. But I found putting the activator, because the activator is not as strong, um, putting the activator after you file and buff, and then almost immediately putting the top coat on worked a lot better because the activator isn't as strong. Which having a, an activator like this, especially if you're first time user, is really good because it's very hard to contaminate your liquids with a, an activator that isn't as strong. So I really like that, especially, like I said, if you're a beginner. Um, but it do, you do have to work with them a little bit differently. So I do put on some pill base um, just in case the I don't like these um, or you know I, I planned on doing a mani so just in case the mani turned out really bad or the liquids weren't good or whatever um, you know but I wanted to make sure that I got the full experience because sometimes doing it on your fingers is a lot different than swatching it. So, but I do like to swatch just to see exactly what the color is and kind of get a feel for the liquids. And these liquids actually are very, very slow drying, which is good um, for beginners or if you're slow. And I was doing this on my dominant hand. So I was working with my non-dominant hand. So I was moving really slow, trying to not get it on my cuticles and stuff. So having that extra time to work was really nice. And you'll see here, I take that orange wood stick um, and clean up around the edge. And it was still like really tacky. And I think that's because I just 
I, I was just slapping the base on, you know, I didn't really um, try to get a thin coat of base. So it was kind of just kind of pulling, kind of, kind of, um, it was kind of just pulling there at the bottom of the swatch. Um, and that's why I think it was staying really tacky. So these, you have to work really thin with the base. So make sure that you're, um, and it doesn't have one of those little, um, what do they call it? The bottle, the safety bottle, bottle, um, what are those little things? The bottle savers? What are those little things that they put in the bottle? I cannot think right now. But those little things in the bottle, they don't have one of those. So I guess like if it spills, it doesn't like tump out. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what are those things? Um, so usually those things also kind of help you get some of the liquids off of the brushes. Um, but so since it didn't have that, you really have to make sure that you take some of that liquid off of the brush before you put it on your fingers so that you don't get too much base on there. And so I, I did see that this one kind of had um, a little bit of sheen in the bottle. So I wanted to see if it could chrome up. Um, so I just put a little top coat on this swatch and did um, like a 20 second cure. And, um, and it did kind of, I mean, it's not really a chrome, it's more like a pearl pearlescent kind of sheen to it so I mean it gives you an option of something that you can do this is with black under it so um, it looks kind of a little bit more like a chrome with black under so there you go there's an option as well all right so now I'm doing the activator and like I said um, this activator is not as strong so what I suggest and what I found once I did my, the mani at the end with um, my actual mani um, you after you file and buff you want to put some more activator on and then you want to almost immediately put on your top coat and that's how you will have the most success with these liquids is not waiting for that drying time usually you want to wait for other liquids you want to wait two minutes before you put the top coat on these because the activator and I find with the like lavender violets that also do not have very strong activator. I don't know, maybe it's just like a different type of activator. It's not that it's not as strong, it's just a different type of activator. So you need to use more of it whenever you're activating and you need to immediately put on your top coat after. You don't need any waiting time. Which with the swatches, I did wait um, and it ended up not being as shiny for one. And for two, um, and I didn't wipe anything on these swatches. I'm just, I waited two minutes and then I put on the top coat. But like I said, yeah, it wasn't as shiny and it needed, um, and it took that second coat ended up taking forever to dry. And I needed a third coat to try and get some more shine to it. And then that third um, top coat almost didn't want to dry at all because there was like probably no activator left. Um, after that so um, I tried just the three top coats but I felt um, and now I feel like I'm just rambling I'm sorry but <laughs> for my mani at the end I just used um, like I said activator let it dry and immediately put the top coat on and that's how you can be more successful with that all right so um now that i have rambled on for i don't know almost 10 minutes now i'm sorry i just um i don't have a whole lot of friends <laughs> thank you guys for uh coming and watching my videos and uh listening to me ramble <laughs> comment below and <laughs> let me know so in all of that i think i covered everything about this dip kit um, if you haven't joined my facebook group i did post this to my face group first facebook group first so they had first dibs so if you haven't um joined that group i would suggest that you go and join it if you like deals like this if you enjoy a good deal like this 
make sure that you join me there. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think I covered everything in all of my rambling, but if I didn't, then leave me a comment below, ask me any questions that you have about this, um, and yeah, I will let you go ahead and watch me work on the rest of this mini, and I hope you enjoy it.
with this kit um, so and I definitely would recommend it especially for that price um, you will see here in these photos that I did was able to get a really good shine with the liquids um, and I think some of the mistakes that I have with this Manny are just user error and the fact that I was using my non-dominant hand to create this but hopefully you enjoyed this make sure that you subscribe to my channel give this video a like and thanks for watching